Welcome Leah to your weekly love tarot reading. For those of you that are new and joining us, welcome guys. For those of you returning, welcome back and thanks for your continued support. So as always, the reading that I'm going to be doing here today is going to be a general tarot reading and what this means is it may not necessarily resonate with everyone watching. In that case, please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't. Or perhaps you would like a personal reading with me to do so, please feel free to connect. I am going to be listing my email address at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is, along with the different types of readings that I offer. And you'll find that a personal reading is going to resonate with you more closely, as it is personal and intended for you. Otherwise, guys, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get stuck into your reading here, okay? Okay, let's see what messages Tara has for you this week. Okay, for those of you that are single, for those of you that are um, in a relationship or coupled up or kindly seeking romance, let's see what's coming in for you. And also, yes, this spread is going to be intended for Leo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and of course, Rising. So, let's begin. To begin, you've got the Two of Pentacles, followed by the Two of Swords, followed by the Four of Cups. Alrighty, interesting. Moon card here, the Six of Pentacles, the Devil, and maybe we'll squeeze in one more. And lastly, the Eight of Cups. Okay. There's a lot of duality within the spread here, and there seems to be a fair bit of mental confusion when it comes to your romance. Alright, this is interesting. Um, Leo, I think a lot of you are in two minds about a connection. I feel like you're feeling a little bit undecided um, when it comes to your romance, your romantic life here, or when it comes to your special connection. It seems to me with the Four of Cups, uh, Leo, that some of you, now whether this is your energy or the energies of your special someone, but it seems to me as though someone here is losing interest in someone else or in the connection that they uh, have with you or that you have with them, okay? It's almost as if someone here isn't totally convinced that um, you're the right person for them or they are the right person for you or that this connection is working out or has a potential to be anything more than what it is. With the Two of Cups, uh, sorry, the Two of Pentacles here, I'm getting a frivolous type of energy. So someone here may not be taking the commitment seriously. Someone here may not be taking the connection seriously. They may not be taking you seriously. Or you don't necessarily... Um, you know, you may not be taking your special someone seriously, okay? They, you could be losing interest in them because they are behaving a little bit uh, foolish. They may be prone to childlike predispositions. They may be someone who is a little bit, um, someone who lacks emotional maturity here, okay? Or maybe there is some, this is someone who is um, younger than you, okay? And you really can sense that generational gap like as much as you try you know to overlook it it's really uh, you can really sense it throughout the uh, course of the connection okay now um with the two of swords i definitely feel like you're in two minds i feel like the moon card and the two of swords which uh, and the four of cups wedged in between those two tells me that someone here is losing interest in the connection or um it feels as though you know the the connection is either slowly fading out or it's just not what it was once, okay? But it seems as though, yes, uh, someone he wants to pull and walk away. It could be yourself, it could be a special someone. But they're in two minds about it. There is something here that stops them and prevents them from moving on. There is something here that uh, keeps pulling them back. The Four of Cups also tells me that someone he can sense that something has shifted, the dynamics of the connection has shifted, that perhaps this is yourself, um, you may be acting differently towards them. They feel as though you're pulling away or you're more emotionally disconnected from them or perhaps the energies are reversed here and this is how you feel towards uh, your special someone, that they're not as responsive, they're a little bit more brief. Um, they seem to be pulling away or you can just feel that emotional disconnection like you guys may be in the same room but you just you're like distances worlds apart here okay with the moon card I do feel like there is a lot of um, there seems to be a lot of mental confusion here as to where you or where they stand in the connection 
where this is going all together. I feel like a part of them wants to walk away, a part of them is losing interest in the connection here and uh, they want to walk away, but I feel like a lot, uh, another part of them wants to stay. Or if this is you, this is a part of you that's wanting to walk away and um, there's a part of you that wants to, you know, that wants to stay in it and see if that, if they explore this, what happens if they further explore this here. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, there could be a lack of give and take in the relationship. You may feel as if though, or your special someone may feel as though it's a little bit one-sided here. They may feel as though um, they are giving a lot of themselves here, and uh, they're not getting the same back in return. Or if this is you, you, you may feel as though they're taking uh, more from you than what they give back here. Okay, so um, it could be like... Uh, maybe your energies don't necessarily balance. I also feel like you may be at this stage currently out of sync. You know, it doesn't seem like you're in tune to each other's frequency here. It just seems a little bit imbalanced, a little uh, one-sided. With the Devil card, I do feel like there is a strong uh, attachment. You, you yourself or your special someone seems to really be anchoring themselves to this connection. Now, it could be that you guys have been together for quite some time. You might have been together for, um, you know, years. Even if you haven't been in uh, in a relationship or in, in this connection for very long, it just seems that the two of you seem very codependent upon each other, um, almost to the sense where you might have even lost your individuality in the connection, okay? Um, and perhaps that's a huge contributing factor to the way that you're feeling or the person is feeling here. Look at the way the... Um, Look at the way Adam and Eve are chained to each other here. The chains, they actually seem to fall rather loosely, which to me suggests that the attachment to each other here is voluntarily, okay? It's uh, self-voluntarily here. So you have, you know... Um, if this is your uh, if this is your energy here, you have I feel like you have a multitude of reasons to walk away from this connection, but a part of you is um, is being pulled back. It's almost like you're being sucked back into this vortex because there is uh, there is a high. Uh, it seems to me there are high levels of codependency in the connection. It seems to me as though. It's a bit of an unhealthy attachment that you have to this person. I'm not sure if they have a very strong hold over, over you or if um, the energies are reversed and you seem to have a very strong hold over this person, but it's almost as if they can't walk away. I also feel like you guys are very uh, physically attracted to each other, okay? Um, you guys seem to have a lot of sexual chemistry and maybe, uh, you know, that's a big part of the reason as to why they stay. Um, as, as to why they stay or why you stay, but it seems to me that beyond that, I'm not sure that you have more of a connection beyond that, okay? I'm not sure that the two of you, I feel like you're a little, you know, uh, yeah, you guys are very attracted to each other and you've got a strong attraction going on, but outside of that, I feel like the connection here is a little imbalanced, it's a little, um, and it's almost as if someone is questioning, where is this going? You see the infinity loop? that is uh, formed here with the, uh, with the tracks, it seems to me as though this is a question, this is a question or, that, or a feeling that you, have, that you have had and you've experienced uh, for quite some time and it just keeps coming back around and around because a lot of you, I feel like, are wanting to walk away from this connection with the Eight of Cups or if this is your special someone, uh, they're wanting to walk away because they just feel like they don't, uh, they don't feel like you guys are you're matched for each other. They feel as though there is a lack of emotional connection here. They feel as though something's missing. Or if this is you, you feel as though something's missing. Like, yeah, it could be good, but it's not great. You know, yeah, you may be content, but you're not happy. You're not satisfied. So I definitely feel like someone here is wanting to pull away. If they haven't done so physically, they definitely seem to be losing interest. And I feel like this is, um, this is a way of them... Uh, of them signaling to you that they want out or this is you this is you know you losing interest in them you pulling away is uh is sending them a message that you know uh you could be done and heading for the hills here all right guys and that sums up your spread here as always i want to take this time to thank you guys for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel by liking sharing and or even commenting below for those of you that would like a reading feel free to connect otherwise take care guys i'll catch up with you next week